If you want to smell like a snack, if you want to smell like a snack, like a literal snack, Sunday is your best friend. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's me Jessica. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. On my page, I mostly talk about fragrances. So if you'll be interested in any of that content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. So like the title of today's video says, we will be talking about or rather, I will be talking about fragrance enhancers. I have made a video similar to this before where I talked about um, tips to make your perfumes last longer. And I mentioned a couple of them and I showed you guys the EOS lotions that I usually use. So in this video, I decided that I was going to show you more of the items that I use to actually make my fragrances last longer, such as the serums, the oils, the body butters, and the lotions. So if you'll be interested in that, go ahead and keep watching. So first things first, we're going to talk about the fragrance serums, or rather the perfume serums. These, I know someone had asked me before where I get them. I get them from Genre Perfumes. I will try to put the link for it down below. When I first started getting them, LaJolie put me, Jasmine put me, her name is LaJolie on uh, Instagram. But Jasmine put me on to these perfume serums. And the first time I got them, I had gotten them. It's John Roy Perfumes or John Roy Perfumes. I'm not sure how you say that. But he had a storefront on Etsy. So that's where I purchased them. I heard now that he does have an actual website where you can shop from. I'm not so sure. However, I will look for the link and put it down below for you guys. So the serum that I have from him is the Almond Musk. I don't know if you guys see that this is what the full bottle looks like for that uh this is also another almond musk but it's like a smaller bottle because i'm obsessed with like almond musk and then this is the second one that i have prairie musk which is pretty much empty i need to get a bigger bottle um but i still have like a little bit of it in here so i'm not exactly sure what fragrance serum is all i can tell you is that it smells good it's not fragrance oil uh, but it does smell like whatever fragrance is supposed to smell like. For example, Almond Musk, when I first got it, I just thought it was like this really nice, soft, nutty, airy fragrance that smelled amazing. Come to find out later on that it's actually supposed to be not, I'm not it's not a dupe, it's not a clone, nothing like that, but it's supposed to be like reminiscent to um, Rolling in Love from Killian, which I absolutely adore. And so it was like, it made sense to me all of a sudden. I was like, oh, of course, that's why I love this so much. I used to use these for almost every fragrance. Like, it didn't matter what fragrance that I had, I would mix this in my lotion and apply it on my body and then put the fragrance on, guys. This one, especially with, um, what's it called? That fragrance from Versace, Jasmine Wisp. Uh, there's another one, uh, Anaka from Sawalef, guys, when I put this with my lotion, it could be unscented lotion or it could be the vanilla EOS lotion, and then I layer it and then put that fragrance on top, I always get compliments, I always get told that I smell amazing. So the consistency of this one, what makes it different from the oils in my opinion, is that this one's really thick. So you don't need a lot of it, like you only need drops. Like, I'm gonna see if I can... This is almost empty as well. I don't know if I can come close and show you guys. You guys see that? Like that. But it's like a thick consistency. So you only need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And even sometimes where I don't feel like mixing it in my lotion, I will put little dabs of it like here, here, behind my ears. You know, like your hot spots. And it lasts all day it really enhances my fragrance whatever fragrance i wear on top and it makes it smell absolutely delicious i tend to use these for most of my perfumes but i would say most of my lighter perfumes the best way i can describe this fragrance or what this one smells like it's the same consistency thick you only this one you actually need a lot less of than the other one the other one you can do with like a big drop this one you only need a small drop because this one projects really loudly and it's very strong so the best way I can describe this is if you smell, just like the name Praline Musk, it does smell like Praline, but if you smell like Chagaf Oud or Lancome's Oud Bouquet, like if you like fragrances like that, Oud Saffron from Orientica, you would absolutely love this. That's what this smells like. That really rich, thick, dense smell that you get from those fragrances, 
that's what you get in this one. So when I wear my heavy hitters, I don't necessarily pair a lot because the fragrance on its own does a lot. But when I want to pair it or just want to do something different, I will mix this one with my lotion and then put those fragrances on. And when I do this one, I only do like a drop or two. I really don't use a lot because like I said, this is really, really strong. That's why I was able to get away with just a small bottle of this one. And I had to get like a big bottle of this one. But either way, I would highly recommend these. 10 over 10 would recommend. Smells amazing. Projects really well. Lasts a really long time and will help your fragrance stay. So if you're having issues with fragrances that have like that sweet... Airy. Even Baccarat. I feel like even if you have Baccarat Rouge, you, you use Perling Musk with it and it will give it some form of depth. Because Baccarat doesn't necessarily have depth. It's airy, it's sweet, it's warm, aromatic, all that kind of stuff. However, I feel like if you use Perling Musk, it'll just give it like a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, guys. Perfume serums, I will link it down below where I got mine. And if you know any other perfume serums that you would highly recommend, put it down in the comment section, you know? So the next fragrance enhancers I'm going to talk about are perfume oils. So, I don't really think there's any other way to describe perfume oils other than saying that they're perfume oils, like they're the oil. In my head, mind you, this might be incorrect, but in my head, the oils are what part of what they use to mix and match to, you know, get the fragrance, and this is just the oil, so they tend to have, like, a higher concentration. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. I might be telling you rubbish, but... Don't quote me. <laughs> but anyhow, the oils that I have, let me start with this one. I have this. I actually have about four of these from Perfume Oil Expressions. I can only find two at the moment. This is what the bottles look like. This one is called Fairy Tale. This one is called Dusk. So first of all, Fairy Tale smells like Love Don't Be Shy, guys. I love that perfume. So I absolutely love this oil. However, I will tell you, fragrance oils, or rather this particular fragrance oil, Fairy Tale, is loud. Guys, it's loud to the point where it can be nauseating. Like, you can get away with using your lotion and just this fragrance oil, in my opinion. This particular one. Because it's very strong. It's a really concentrated version of Love Don't Be Shy. So already some people find Love Don't Be Shy to be nauseating. I feel like if you use too much of this, it will get nauseating. So when I put this on, I put it behind my ears I will put it behind my like on my wrist but I don't put it here usually I put fragrance oil like on my clavicle um, and my chest area in between my boobs but I don't do that with this because I don't like to smell this right here because it's too much for me instead it can be behind my ear on my wrist back of my knee like I don't mind that but right here this particular one no and it will last this lasts a couple of hours like I said you can get away with this one without fragrance like if you're not into fragrances but you do like scents but you don't want like sprays i feel like this would be actually really good for you because this one or in particular fairy tale my experience you can wear this without wearing actual perfume however when you use this and the perfume it will stay all day so for some people who have said love don't be shy doesn't last on them or if you have fragrances that smell similar to that i feel like if you pair this with it it will make it stay longer and just smell delicious like it would just smell more enticing personal opinion that's what i say dusk dusk is their oil version of uh chance ou tendre from chanel chanel chance ou tendre this is their oil version and guys this one smells just like it it doesn't smell exactly like it like to a tea but it's like 95 percent. it smells really good it's very pretty it's very floral it's very it's sweet not too sweet you know how ou tendre smells um, so not necessarily too sweet, but like fresh. And But this, there's something in here, it's a bit thick. So I feel like it's not as light as the actual perfume Utendre. I feel like this one's a bit thicker. However, pairing this one with that one, that one surprisingly lasts on me all day anyway. Like uh, the actual perfume stays on me all day. I smell it eight plus hours. I can still smell that actual fragrance. However, using this with it, like I said, just enhances the performance of the perfume in the sense that it will project more and it will stay longer. Before I forget, the other two that I said I have from this brand, one is supposed to be for Rolling in Love because again, I'm obsessed with that perfume. And the other one is for, uh, I think it's Brilliance or Brilliant, that's what it's called. And that's the oil version for Baccarat. And I think these oils go for about $30. I will also link them down below in the description box, so if you guys want to check it out, you can. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, it was sent to me, 
but I'm not sponsored by them. I've had these for like a while now and I just thought to share it with you guys. So the next one is from Nest. I got this one at Sephora. I was going to get the big bottle, but then I looked at the price and I'm like, first of all, I don't think I need that much. Um, so I got this. This is the roller bottle. Uh, this is the Madagascar vanilla. So the first time I smelled this, honestly, I did not like it. And I think that's why I never purchased it and it first came out. Um, but when I went back to Sephora, I think during the holidays, I smelled this in the store and I was like, huh, I actually think I would really, really like that. Like I enjoy, it. I feel like it's vanilla, but to me, it's more of like a woody vanilla if I didn't mention these are rollerballs this one's also a rollerball but I don't know if you guys see that you see how small this one is and you see how big this one is this one when you roll it on a lot of oil comes out this one when I roll it on I don't get a lot of oil from it like it's annoying so for example actually I should do it here so you see that that was just a little bit from this and that much came out compared to if I did this one here look I have to really like hold it upside down and roll it for this to come out and it's not a lot it's just a little bit but compare it to the other one like you see what I mean like I feel like it takes a lot for this one to come out like I feel like I have to like roll it roll it for it to actually come out and um will I buy this again probably not it still smells good I still use it with a lot of my fragrances however if I were to buy this again, I probably would buy the dropper so that, yes, I could actually mix it in with my lotion or my buddy butters. Um, but by itself, I would not wear this by itself. Like, I, like you see how I said the other ones, you can put your lotion on, use them, and, like, you can wear them without wearing lotion. Uh, you can wear them without wearing fragrance. I don't think I can do that with this. With this one, I would definitely need to use it as, like, a layer to something. It smells good. Um expensive worth the price in my humble opinion no however the girls go crazy for uh, it so. fragrance oil from mason francis kirkjohn kirkjohn however you say it and it's the baccarat rouge oil this is what it looks like when you let it sit but when you shake it up what it looks like when you shake it okay this is what the oil looks like it's actually really gorgeous like the shimmer in this is absolutely stunning uh, it's not a drop or anything like that when you t it's a twist off cap and when you twist it off This is the what it looks like. So you pretty much just like drop it ooh, On your skin like that. I'm gonna rub that in so you guys can see it I don't know if the camera is gonna pick up like the shimmer So yeah, not sure if the camera picked up the shimmer, but that's pretty much what the oil looks like does it smell like the fragrance? Yes, it smells just like the fragrance. Um, actually, it smells 98% or 99% like the fragrance. There's something different. Not sure what it is. Maybe it's not as sweet as the fragrance itself. There's something different, but at the same time, it's the same. It. I like to layer this with my unscented lotions. Like I'll put this in my unscented lotions a lot, especially if I'm going out and I want that little shimmer shimmer. I've even mixed this with the Fenty, the butter drop, the cinnamon one for like a little extra dazzle razzle, <laughs> extra razzle dazzle. I have mixed that before. Uh, it smells really good. So it smells just like Baccarat. And if you guys know Baccarat, you know that it's a fragrance that you can mix with pretty much almost anything. I think it's, amazing and I feel like if you want Baccarat Rouge and you don't want to spend Baccarat Rouge money you can get away with the oil like it smells good it smells good when you first apply it like you can smell like that Baccarat scent I don't know if I go nose blind to it but after a while I don't smell it anymore so I'm not going to tell you that that one's going to last all day but then that could just be me I could just be nose blind to it it could be that situation where it's just like regular Baccarat other people can smell it even when you don't smell it anymore so that's very possible this is just my personal opinion when I put it on it smells good I can smell it but after a while I don't smell it so back to what I was saying where I said that if you want Baccarat but you don't want to spend that money, you can get away with the oil. You can because it smells just like it. It smells really, really good. And I'm not going to tell you, oh, I use just the oil and that's it. No, when I use that oil, I always pair it with like a lotion or a cream or something. I don't use the oil just by itself only because I'm like, 
the only time I would do that is maybe if I'm already dressed and if I'm wearing something like you guys know I like the off the shoulders so like I would either like you know put it right here after I'm already done with perfume and everything just for like that extra shimmer I can just put some in my hand and then just rub it in just so it would have like the extra shine when I'm going out um but other than that I'm not going to tell you it's the most moisturizing oil it's good but then I wouldn't know I don't wear it by itself no I always wear it with something else so the next fragrance enhancers I'm going to talk about are lotions. I already talked about um, the EOS lotions that I have. I still have the exact same one, so that's why I'm not putting them in this video. But if you guys haven't seen it, I will link the video for you to go watch. Tips on how to make your fragrances last longer. I did have the, or I do have the Vanilla Cashmere, Jasmine Peach, and Coconut Waters. It smells absolutely amazing. I love those. And I told you guys I put my spray my perfume in them. My serum, whatever it is, I put it in my lotion, rub it on, and then, or well, I spray first, and then I put the lotion, and sometimes I can spray into the lotion and then put it on. Whichever way works for you, you're just going to be smelling tantalizing. That, that's just it. So anyhow, uh, speaking of lotions, these are two that I did not talk about. These are scented lotions. It's the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Um, this is really popular. And then the Coca Cabana Cream. This one smells like the... It smells like coconut. It smells like that spray that they have, the coconut version, which I also have. And then this just smells like delicious caramel, popcorn, nuts. It, it, it smells really, really good. So I do like to layer these as well. Um, if you guys will see, I do have this. Whoop. I am almost out of this one. Like I'm all the way at the bottom. So this... When I want to wear my fragrances that have caramel in them or my almond forward fragrances, for example, Italica or uh, Salt Caramel from Shea and Blue, Oud Mood, fragrances like that, this is a great lotion that would work perfectly with them. The only qualm that I have personally with this one is I feel like this doesn't moisturize my skin as well. Just this one. Uh, I know a lot of people say it's very moisturizing, but for me personally, I feel like I still have to use something else even when I use this. So um, I don't know if it's like that for other people, but just for me, I feel like I still have to use another lotion. Like to me, this, it doesn't pure, like it doesn't penetrate my skin. <laughs> it doesn't penetrate my skin the way I would want it to. Like, you know what I mean? It just smells really good. And like I said, I would still use regular lotion and then use this one on top. Now this one on the other hand... This actually does a really good job with moisturizing. Like, this really goes into my skin. I like this one. Um, I do save this one for when I'm more on vacation. As you can see, it's still kind of full. Because I don't necessarily use this one that often. Especially because I had the coconut waters. I prefer that one to this one. However, this still smells really, really good. And this, like I said, I keep especially for when I'm on vacation. Because I just love to feel... And smell like an island girl. All right, so the last items I'm going to talk about, these are buddy butters. So buddy butters are different from like the actual lotions. We all know that. The lotions, scented and unscented, I feel personally those are really good for like the summertime. They're really good year round, but most especially summertime. Buddy butters, I tend to keep for when it's cold. Like, it doesn't take a lot for me to get hot and I do not like the feel of anything like thick or heavy on my skin and in my opinion buddy butters it, i don't like how they feel on my skin during the summertime i don't like how they feel like the oil is just too much for me so the perfect time when i start to use my buddy butters i mean every once in a while you'll see me bring it out during the summer but it's usually at night and i, I just don't like using it during the summer yeah. fall winter those are the perfect times for buddy butters guys like because I feel like sometimes lotion is not enough when it's that cold and the skin is being extra crispy. I <laughs> Like really, really dry. I find that that's when Buddy Butters actually really nourish my skin and make it shine and look amazing. So I have, uh, I'm going to talk about these two, first of all, from Fenty that I have. The regular Buddy Butter. I'm not going to say this one is unscented. The actual regular Fenty Buddy Butter. I don't think it's unscented um, because it does have a scent to it, but it's very light. It's not, I'm not going to say it necessarily smells like anything, um, but there is a scent. 
there's something, there's some type of scent, but it's not something that I'll be like, oh, I can't use this with this because it smells like this. No, I feel like this, if you don't want to use unscented lotion per se, but then you don't want anything that's heavily scented, I would still say you can go with this. I really like this one because it moisturizes my skin so well. Like, I love how this, like, especially parts of my skin, like my feet, when it wants to be like crispy, <laughs> like dry, dry. This is perfect for it. I absolutely love it. Love it. It just feels good. And then, like I said, I put my almond musk with this one or the perlian musk and then use that fragrance. <sighs> smells amazing. And then the next one from Fenty that I have, um, a lot of people have talked about this one recently because I think it came out during the holiday last year and I got it. It is the Butter Drop, the Shimmering Whipped Oil Body It actually says it's a body cream. But it's a body butter. It's because it's thick. It's not. So the the last one I just talked about and this one, they're not lotion. But they're or rather, should I say they're buddy butters, but they're not buddy butters. Like, you'll see, I'm still going to talk about a couple buddy butters, so you guys will see the difference when I talk about, like, buddy butters. These actually have almost the same consistency as the, so I think I should have put this under lotions. I feel like they have the same consistency as the Sol de Gennaro uh, body creams. But, yes, I take it back, guys. I apologize. I'm not going to call these two buddy butters, even though they call them buddy butters. On the website and people call them buddy butters I don't think they're buddy butters I think they're actually just body cream anyhow going back to this one this is like the shimmering oil it does have the shimmer guys this smells really really good uh, let me put that on for you guys to see it does give your body that shine it smells really really good I don't know if you guys see that guys this smells the first time I smelled it, I remember telling my sister, I was like, I don't smell anything. What are people talking about? People are so weird. People always hype stuff up, blah, 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 blah. Smells like nothing to me. Mind you, I was just getting over COVID that period. So maybe my sense of smell was being weird. <laughs> because yes, I don't know if I told you guys, but I had COVID again. Same period, Christmas into New Year. It was ridiculous. Anyhow, um, <sighs> what was I saying? Anyhow, this smells absolutely delicious it does smell like cinnamon it's not i will tell you it's not loud it's not one that oh my god projects or you'll say you wear it just by itself and that's your fragrance no it's very light the scent itself is very light it's not heavy on that so you smell the cinnamon you smell the spices the warm deliciousness of it uh but it's not a loud smelling fragrance so you can probably pair this a lot of people pair this with angel sheer and it does smell really good i pair this with a lot of fragrances not just angel sheer but like a lot of my cherry forward fragrances i i don't know why but i pair this a lot with that and it smells absolutely amazing i just like the shimmer that it gives i hate that my palm gets very like shimmery that's the word shimmery but anyhow, you know what I'm trying to say. This smells amazing. I would not say run out and get it. However, if you want to, or if you're thinking about it, get it. It moisturizes really well as well. I don't mix my serums in this one because this one has that cinnamon scent and I don't necessarily have any serum oil that smells like that. I just use this with like my warmer, spicy fragrances, like fragrances that have that, I would pair this one with it. And like I said, with cherry as well, it smells really good. We're gonna move into the next category, which is actually buddy butters. And now you're gonna see what I mean by the difference between the buddy butters, like the consistency of it, and lotions. So let me show you. And cream, not lotion, but like the creams. This is the body cream. That's what it looks like. So when you put your hand in the body creams, it's like that. You see that? However, if you put your hand in the body butter, this is what you get. You guys see that? It's thick. It, you see how that just stays right there? It looks amazing. Like It leaves your skin. Look at that shine. Like, do you see that from the body butter? I love body butters. But like I said, it's heavy on the skin. So which is why I feel like it's perfect for fall, winter. When it's cold out, then it wouldn't get as hot. This is just me, personally. But that's the best time that I enjoy wearing body butters, guys. 
I do have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven body butters from the same company. It's called the Body Butter Bakery. I think that's what it's called. Let me be sure. Yeah, I think it's called Body Butter Bakery. So Jasmine, once again, was the one who put me on to this particular brand. And the way she described it, I was like, you know what? Let me try it. And guys, I ordered a lot more because it just smelled absolutely amazing. And it's affordable. If you are interested, I will put the link down below. So this particular one is called Caribbean Rum Cake. Guys, <laughs> it smells... It's not my favorite out of all the ones that I have, but which you can tell it's still full, but it smells so good. It smells delicious. It literally smells like the name Caribbean Rum Cake. That's what this smells like. Like she nailed it when it comes to the scents and even the way it feels. Like I have, I'm not going to say I have dry skin, but there's parts of my body that gets really, really dry, especially for winter. So that is just amazing on my skin. It feels so good. And sometimes I don't even have to put like any type of oil or serum with these because they're so, they're not like necessarily loud. Well, no, they are loud actually. I'm not going to tell. Some of them are really loud when you put them on, but like, you know, they, they, um, What's the, what's the word? They dry down. Like the scent dries down so it's not as projecting. It's not as loud. So be careful when you're mixing them with fragrances. You kind of want to make sure that you can put it similar to a fragrance that will match. So for example, if I'm doing Caribbean rum cake, I would probably wear a fragrance like Tribeca from Bon Nye. I don't know why, but that's a fragrance that I would wear with it. Like my gourmand fragrances that give me like that delicious cakey feel to it almost chocolatey I would do that with my Caribbean rum cake or like my boozy fragrances like you know what I mean like angel share I feel like that will go amazing with that or Kamroff uh I can't start thinking about the fragrances but you get my drift so this is the big size of the body butters and this is the smaller size you really do not need except you're getting like one or two then I would say get the big size but if you have like a lot of lotions buddy butters you can get away with the little size like it will take you it will last a long time because you don't need a lot of it um this one is the German chocolate cake guys this I forgot how many ounces this is <sighs> this smells like scrumptious chocolate this is one that's loud it projects loud and it works so well with my fragrances like the fragrance that I love to wear with this one is call me by your name listen that fragrance is chocolate deliciousness and that's exactly what this smells like an a literal chocolate bar so if you don't like chocolate if you don't want to smell like that don't get this body butter but guys oh it smells so good this is one that I feel like you can get away with wearing it without wearing the fragrance it smells so delicious and the fragrance consistency is the same throughout or rather the buddy butters the consistency is the same in each one of them i i just love it guys this chocolate one oof it's sexy it's delicious it's just it's scrumptious like that with any of my gourmand fragrances or like my chocolate four fragrances and even with some fragrances that are not even some fragrances that are just like vanilla four i would still do that german chocolate guys one of my favorites and then this one is called sunday this one is loud. When you wear this one, I remember, I think I was put, I put this on one time and my parents had come to visit and I think my dad was in the living room and he's like, what do you have on? That is so strong. And it was just the buddy butter. He's like, what is that? He smelled, <laughs> it was just the buddy butter. Guys, this one, as you can see, it's empty. Okay. This is the medium size. Okay. So that one was the, the big size. The, Car the Caribbean rum cake was the big size. This is the medium size and the other ones are the small ones, guys. Even though it's empty, I can smell this. This is mild watering. Sunday is mild. It's delicious. It, oof. it smells good. Please, what? I'm getting another one of this one when it's time for me to restock. Like, I'm not buying any more right now because I'm like, all right, I have a lot. Let me use those. The other ones I'm going to talk about really quickly, lemon pound cake. Now, this one, it does smell like lemon pound cake. This one is also not one of my favorites. Uh... Mostly because I've come to find out, I don't think I like stuff that's like citrus forward. So citrus would include lemon, like lemon, zesty, like if it's a lot of zest. But this one is not necessarily, you get the right amount of lemon and cake. However, my point is, it's not my favorite, but it smells really good. This one is the pina colada, guys. Pina colada smells amazing. Another one of my favorites. This one is like, 
coconut. So co coconut goodness, delicious. If you like stuff that's coconut scented, this Body Butter Pinnacle, it smells like a literal pina colada drink in your face. The co it's so it's so scrumptious. It is so scrumptious. I absolutely love, love this one. It's one of my favorites. You could do Poison Girl with this. You could do Rollin' in Love with this. The Only One Intense, Jasmine Wisp. Can't think of them. There's, there's more, but you can do them with this. It would smell amazing. Then the next one I have, like I told you guys, I had a lot from her. Strawberries and Cream. This one is nice. I don't wear this one that often. It smells good, but I do not wear it often because I do have, I'm not going to tell you, oh, I don't have fragrances that are strawberry forward. I do. Uh, I do have uh, La Capitale. That one has strawberries in it. Lancome, Le Nuit Tresor has strawberries in it. There's this other fragrance that I had. It was really, really strawberry forward. Uh, but I think I gave it to one of my cousins because she really liked it more. So I was like, sure, why not? This body butter, it smells like, it's heavy on the strawberry and cream. And it's just not my favorite. Like, it smells good. But it's not one of my favorites, so it's, I don't necessarily reach for it that much because, like I said, I don't really have that many fragrances that are like strawberry because it's just, it's kind of juvenile. <laughs> I don't want to say that word juvenile, but it's just, yeah, I feel like I've passed that stage where I would wear this. Like, I don't want to smell like this anymore. And last but not least, uh, Vanilla Sugar. This one I was really, really excited about because I was like, ooh, yes, yeah, vanilla. Because you guys know me, I'm a vanilla girl. I thought it would be perfect for like pretty much anything I had vanilla. But I was actually kind of underwhelmed. Like it smells good. Don't get me wrong, guys. You can see I have like a bit of a debt. Like I've used a lot of it. But I was kind of underwhelmed with it in the sense that I don't get strong vanilla. Like it's so light, personally, to me. The fragrance in this one is very light. Like, it's not giving me, like, vanilla. Like, the way I was thinking. I was thinking this would be, like, vanilla 28. Like, you know, like, brown sugar, sweet in your face. This is just, like, a light vanilla. So, it's, like, it's nice. But it's not, like, I, it's, it's, I'm not going to say it's almost unscented. But, like, personally, I feel like she kind of didn't really put, like, a lot of fragrance oil in this particular one. Or maybe it's just this batch. I don't know. But, like, the way some of the other ones are, like, strong, like, in your face, like, smell good all day. This one, uh, I definitely have to mix it with the oil or with the serum or something else in order for it to project more for me to not put my perfume or, like, you know, for it to, like, last longer. But if you want something that's not necessarily loud from her, I would say vanilla sugar is a good option for people who don't want too much of a scent. You just want something light surprisingly like I said to me this is very light anyhow guys that brings us to the end of my video let me know what you think about these products do you have any of them do you have any more recommendations because I'm really into oils and serums now and of course buddy butters so if you've caught in any that you think is amazing and you would like to share leave it down in the comment section if you've tried any of these let me know what you think um don't forget to please like and subscribe. It's free and I would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm trying to be more consistent. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.